I was in Target the other day and I found this Gillette Depot by Gel Blaster. And this is really cool because not only is it a soaking tub for your gels, it's also a draining and filling station too, so you can fill your magazines very easily. This looks like a much better solution than my hacked up dish soap bottle, which people end up spilling gels all over the place when they go to try to use it. So the flap can be in three positions, closed, drain water, and pour gelettes. And it can hold 10,000 gelettes. So let's take a look at this thing. Here we go. It arrives collapsed down like this. Take off the cover and pop it out. And it makes a nice little bucket. The lid looks like it seals really well. I'll have to see later once I put some water in it and see if it actually leaks or anything. The bottom of it's all nicely angled out towards the spout. So you should get every last gel ball out and drain it also. So the spout, you push it down, but it really looks like you need to grab the bottom here to get it to snap. Otherwise, if, I just, if I'm just pushing it down, you can't get it to snap easily. It's not as easy to snap it. So it really helps if you grab the bottom with your finger and then push it down like that. So then to go to drain it, you want to carefully lift up, not lift up too high where you're spilling gel balls. So you want to go to that second stop. It's actually, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, see, end up opening it all the way. Let's see. If I'm careful, I can open it just a little bit to let it drain. So you just got to do it carefully, otherwise you're going to end up spilling some gel balls. But so that's the drain position there. It's open a little bit. And then this would be the position for filling. And then you could easily just shut it and leave it open like that to leave it drain. All right, I'm going to shut it now. This is 10,000 Gel Blaster Gillettes that came with the Gel Blaster Surge. Rip the top off. Pour it in there. Now let's put some water in. I'll snap this top back on. So far, no leaks from the bottom. Seems to be sealing well. Let's see if this lid is also watertight. I'm gonna tip it up. I don't see any leaking out the lid either. So the whole thing seems to be watertight. Yep, nothing's leaking. That water is already in the bottom there. Oops, leaking just a tiny bit. If you push down the lid really well, it seems to not leak too much at all. So this lid seal is good enough to store the gels in here and prevent them from drying out from water from evaporating. And also if this gets knocked over, it's not going to spill all over the place. I'm gonna push it over, it could be a mess. Oh, survive that. Yeah, so if it gets knocked over, it's not just gonna spill out. Something unusual I found with these gels that I haven't seen before is that there's quite a few in here that are already smashed. Like this, 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 there's like bits and pieces. It seems from before they were even grown, there were already some, some broken ones in here. See this right here, this right here. So that means that when you see some smashed up ones being shot out, it may not necessarily be that the blaster is smashing them. It might be that they're already smashed. I usually use higher quality hardened gel balls and I've never seen smashed ones in there before just after growing them like this. This is the first time I've ever seen that. It's also the first time I've ever seen it in a batch of gel blaster gel balls, so it might just be a fluke. Here are all the various magazines and blasters I'll be testing this Gillette Depot with. So we have the original gel blaster grenade style hopper. We have the new gel blaster hoppers. I have a Spiderball SRB 400 round magazine. I have a Spiderball SRB 1200 round magazine. This one is notoriously difficult to fill without spilling stuff everywhere. It actually comes with this funnel, which I'll be demonstrating it with and without the funnel. And I'll also try to use the funnel and some other ones to see if it helps. This is the Hydro Strike Pulsar Pro magazine. This has a nice big fill port that slides like that. This is the Unlocked magazine. It has a tiny little fill port. Definitely that funnel will come in handy. And this is the Hydro Strike Nebula Blaster, which has a very large port at the top. Now I'm gonna see how well this drain works. So I've got the lid securely on. It's not leaking. You know, I was thinking about this latch here, and I think this is a little bit tough for a kid or young adult to do. I mean, it's pretty tough for me to snap down, and I know that I have quite strong hands, so a child, or young adult, may have some issues with this snap and might need the help of an adult. But let's watch it drain. So yeah, the draining works well, but you see it's bubbling in here. With the, with the lid on, the lid's not allowing any air in there. So I'm gonna open the lid up 
and see if that helps. Should start flowing a lot faster. It's gonna release the vacuum in there. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So first we'll start off with this new gel blaster container. So I'm just gonna stick it right here. See, they keep coming out when it's, when it's full. Press it down a little bit. Oh, smash a few gels there. Yeah, that's what I expected. Push it down a little too far. Let's try a spider ball magazine now, see how that works. Oops. Oops, spilling some of the sides. I need to hold, need to hold it a little differently. There we go. That worked, lost a few. Again, smashed some here when I'm closing it. That filled it up. Let's do the splatter ball drum mag. See how it works for that. That's gonna be a little bit trickier. I almost think you need the funnel for it or something. Close that a little bit further. Not terrible. If it stops flowing, you can always tap the lid. Shake it a little bit. Ah, oh, this is how you do it. Just gotta pull the thing out a little bit further and put it, fit it like that. That fills it well. So filling up this drum mag requires a little bit different technique, but it's still better than the other solutions I've tried in the past and much less likely to cause a major spill. It's RB1200 drum mag. It does come with this funnel too to help you fill. And the funnel fits in the port nicely, but when you were trying to fill it normally, it was still pretty tricky. Let's see how it works with this gel depot. Put it like this, there we go. So if I hold the funnel wedged up against the gel depot, and then, oops, problem is you end up filling up too much here. If you shake it a little bit, it goes down and it fills up the rest of the magazine. So it actually works pretty well. So I would keep this funnel to use for other magazines too, to make it easier to fill. Like the funnel will definitely help with the filling of the normal Spiderball SRB 400 magazine. Put it right there and it goes right in. And then you have to stop before it fills up too much. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I totally filled up too much. Okay, gotta stop, now it's too full and the funnel still has some beads in it. So what do you do with these? We'll just open the lid, dump out the excess beads in there. There you go. Now let's give the Hydrostrike magazine a try. So the Hydrostrike magazine has a nice big fill port. It's kind of still awkward to find what is the best angle to fill at. Something further out would actually be better like this. This is the best angle right here, but it's a little awkward because I pull this out from the table, but that filled it up completely. So if it stops flowing, you can also just tap this right here, jiggle this, and it'll make it flow faster. Looks like you're gonna smash some gels. No matter what, when you close that, it's gonna smash some gels because some gels get up in there in the sides. This is the unlocked magazine. Let's see how it fills up with this gelat depot. It has a really small port on the top. I'm not fond of this port. It's actually difficult to fill normally. But it fills really well with the gelat depot. Much easier than normal to fill this small hole here. Didn't lose too many either, just lost a few. That's a success right there. I'll also try to see how well it fills up this Hydrostrike Nebula, because it's got this huge port in the top, fill port, which is nice, but it is um, kind of bouncy when the gels go in. So let's check this out.
Oh yeah, that makes it really easy to fill up this blaster, easier than before for sure. So overall, I'm actually very happy with how well this Gel Blaster Gillette Depot works. And I highly recommend this. It's gonna make the tedious process of filling up magazines so much easier and faster. And it's gonna allow other people to do it too. Because previously I had to do all the filling of the magazines when I was playing with friends that didn't have a lot of experience with the Gel Blasters because they would end up spilling a lot of gel balls in trying to fill the magazines. I think this will be very easy and quick to learn for them on how to refill their magazine. So I won't have to take out so much time from the game to do that. And we can just keep the game flowing. I also really like that you can store the gel balls in here when you're done, you know, you just push this latch here. Uh, like I said, this latch is something that it might take an adult to do this. A kid is probably not gonna have the finger strength to close this up completely or even maybe open it. But a kid will have enough strength to take it from the drain position to the open position because that's an easy position to change. I really like that you can store the gel balls in here and have them ready for use. You could even keep this in your fridge if you've got enough fridge space and always have a gallon of gel balls ready to go. Here you can see that it does smash some gels in the opening. That's really the only improvement I would like to see is a better system for the opening here and something that doesn't smash gels. Because when you smash up gels, those can get into the magazine and they won't feed, so they'll stay like in the bottom of the magazine. If you don't clean out the magazine really well, then they can just stay down there and mess things up possibly. For the hopper style magazine, it's less of a problem because all that smashed up stuff, it'll just go down into the barrel and be shot out. But with a magazine style electric drive, the smashed up stuff, it could go in the bottom here and it's never gonna get fed out unless you make sure to dump it and clean it out well. So it could get down there and clog things up. So I'm gonna be using this Gillette Depot from now on. I'm gonna report back how well it works in the field. And over time, if any of those smashed gels cause any problems, but overall for the price, you should definitely get one of these. It's gonna make your play experience so much better.